Teresa Bourdonnais is a mom, businesswoman, and breast cancer survivor. She says because of a mammogram designed for women with dense breasts. I think it probably saved me from, at a minimum, chemo, radiation, and certainly it could have progressed quickly. She was part of a clinical trial to see if contrast-enhanced mammograms used to diagnose cancer by injecting dye into the patient could also be used to screen for cancer. Was it any different? No, it's um, the dye is a strange experience. Mayo Clinic radiologist oh, Dr. Bavika no. Patel yes, led is, the clinical trial. Tough. And this woman is extremely dense. On a traditional mammogram, dense breast tissue shows up white, just like cancer. It would be comparable to trying to find a snowman in a snowstorm. With contrast enhanced mammography, Patel says the picture is clear. The dye eliminates the dense breast tissue and lights up a potential tumor. This breast is this breast, same day, same time. These images are taken seconds of one another. In the trial, the contrast enhanced mammograms found cancer in 14 patients. 14 cancers out of 460 people doesn't sound like a lot. When we talk about standard mammography, we hope to find four per thousand. We saw 14 per 460. It's about five to six fold more than what a standard mammogram would show. More studies are needed before this test is approved as a screening tool, so it may not be covered by insurance. For now, women who want the test would have to find one of the medical centers that offer it and could have to pay out of pocket. But for Teresa Bordenay, do you feel like that test saved your life? Oh, 100%. Okay. It made all um, the difference. So Ann Thompson, oh, NBC oh, News, oh, Phoenix. Tonight. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.